Hello, 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 hello. Welcome session, online session. Wow, then say this online session. We are going to do some super problems based on general kinematics and motion with constant acceleration. Then we are going to do the moon and moon formula. This formula is based on the part of the problems. Countless number of problems. We are going to solve the number of formulas. We are going to solve the first formula. V is equal to U plus AT. V is the final velocity. U is the initial velocity. A is the acceleration. And T is the time measured in seconds. SI system program. V is measured in meter per second. And A is in meter per second square. And T is in seconds. We will end up with the equation. This is the first equation. The equation is S is equal to UT plus half T. S is equal to UT plus half T. A T square. S and Vernal displacement. U and Vernal, I already said velocity, that is initial velocity, and A is the acceleration. Now, our third important formula, that is V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. First problem, what are A symbol? In the problem, we are a body falls from the top of a tower. Now, we first do tower. All right, this is our tower. Right. Now, the body is fall from the top of the tower. Now, we have a body. This is the body. This is the body. This body is the tower. This is the ground level. Right. This is our ground. What do you think? The body covers 36% of the total height. In the last second before striking the ground. In the last second, this body how much distance is covered? 36% of the total height. Right. Now, let's assume that we assume the tower and the height is h. Let h be the height of the tower. Okay. Now, given that the tower is 36%. 36% is 0.3 cm. Of the total height. That is traveled in the last second of time right so this is a distance travel in the last second okay a b distance at raya e distance overall h minus 0 0.36 that is equal to 0 0.64 h i'm going to get the height of the tower options are given right 50 meter 75 meter 100 meter and 125 meter okay total time let we assume is equal to T. So, T is the total time for the body to reach the bottom from the top of the tower. Now, T is the second layer. T is the second layer. This is travel in 0.36 meters. Right? So, we have a distance traveled in the T is the second. Now, what is the remaining time? That is T is the second layer. Minus one second. T minus one second. Le distance travelled at raya. Distance travelled zero point six four h. Okay. So, so the last second or the t second the distance travel is zero point three six of the total height. And during the t minus one second, that is the, during the remaining time, the body travelled zero point six four h. Right. The body Building the model now will not be the initial velocity initial velocity u that is equal to zero meter per second that is equal to half g t square g in the world g in the world acceleration due to gravity that is equal to 9.81 meter per second square initial velocity u is equal to zero so total height is equal to half g t square so, distance traveled in t minus 1 seconds. How much distance traveled in t minus 1 seconds? The body will travel a distance of 0 0.64 h. This is the distance traveled in t minus 1 second. That is equal to half into g into how much time? Time is t minus 1. That is t minus 1 the whole square. In the equation 1 and 2 divided. So, 
Let this is equation number 1. This is our equation number 2. So, equation 1 divided by equation 2. That will imply 1 divided by 0.64 is equal to t square divided by t minus 1 the whole square. Okay. Now take the square root. We get 1 divided by 0.8 that is equal to t divided by t minus 1. Now solve this. We get t minus 1 is equal to 0.8t or 0.2t is equal to 1 or t is equal to 1 by 0.2. 0.2t that is equal to 1 or t is equal to 1 divided by 0.2 that is equal to 10 by 2 is equal to 5 seconds. Right. So, time taken is 5 seconds. Now, what is height? H is equal to half into G T square. This is equal to half into, we can assume acceleration due to gravity G is equal to 10. 10 into 5 square. So, how much? What is the answer? This is get 5. That is equal to 5 into 5 square. 5 square is 25. So, this is equal to 1, 25 meter. So, the answer is option D. So, option D is the correct answer.